So did you start out, Robin, with even 30-some years ago, you did the, the ropes and the, the trapeze thing and the flying and the yeah, aerial I, I, tricks? Um, and in this early, I did gymnastics and dance and visual arts and theater and stuff as a child, and I always like to combine them. And so when, mm -hmm. I, and when I was 17, I, when I was actually 14, I started making work that is really not unlike D-Jump. It's yeah. exactly like it. It's the same combination of stuff. And then yeah. I studied with a woman named Terry Sengraf in San Francisco, who was like the, kind of the pioneer of aerial dance in this country. I mean, she's a, because before there was like circus and dance, and you know, she kind of started using improv. And so what is aerial dance? She's kind of the person who started it. And I went and I lived in San Francisco for a while and worked with her. And that's where I learned trapeze. And then I came back up here, I think, in 72 and started teaching trapeze in Portland. Most all of our shows have had aerial work in it, but not always. It's not like we're, a we're not really about the medium. Or about the message, <laughs> and it's not really a message. We're just about you know, what is the soul of the thing? It's art, you know. Yeah. So if you're really wedded to using, you know, if you're a writer and you you love the word bing bong and you have to use it every time you do a show because you're a bing bong writer, you know. I mean, what we're the vocabulary we're using is to make the show. And like we were saying this morning, like I'm not sure the show is kind of it's really fun, it's fabulous, but. What kind of show it is? It's going to be. I said oh, it was going to be really different than our regular usual shows, but then our usual shows are always really different than each other. I have these two amazing cats. They're called Tiger Lily and Sunny Lou. I've always wanted to do some. I thought a kids book, or, or actually, then I got into a graphic. The idea of doing a graphic novel mm -hmm. about them, and so um, I wrote wrote the story of it, and it's basically. Uh, the very simple, you know how cats are so intense and so they have such a wide range of emotions and my cats are extremely athletic, I mean, they're amazing to watch. And there are these two brothers that we got and they just had this weird relationship, really codependent and <laughs> kind of very loving, but, <laughs> and um, one of them kind of is always um, getting himself in trouble and having to go get surgery or this or that and the other one is looking out for him, but the one that is always getting in trouble is actually the alpha cat that kind of alphas the whole house, including the dog. And so their, their relationship is fun, some kind of archetypal weird brother relationship. So really the show is about taking really small moments and making them huge, which is what cats do anyway. You know, so there's a lot of big, huge drama about, I mean, like, you know, like the first time a cat ever gets on the couch, it's like, it, it could be the epic of a giant, movie <laughs> with a score and everything but it's just really a cat getting on the couch and so that's really fun and like the set is all like there's a giant couch you can see it and the cat toys are people and they fly in and out and 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 it has it has everything it's got every range of emo emotions it's got that dark creepiness that cats are a little bit and you know they're happy and it's just it's been really fun to do um, and the, perform the performers, they play, start out two sets of people play the cats as kittens, and then they, two other people play them when they get older. And there's a dog. And um, Michael, Michael Curry of Michael Curry Design designed, he was a consult, costume consult consultant, and he, he designed um, the cat. He didn't design them, but he helped us really work with us on the concept of the cat, cat costumes, and especially the tails. So it's a story about small things told large. Yes, which is perfect, which is what cats, I mean, things matter to cats. When they're sleeping, they are sleeping. <laughs> when they're pissed off, you know about it, you know. When they're um, have, happy and having fun and... Chance, a chance.